Hello chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be taking a look and playing through a bit of Summer Catchers. Now, this caught my eye. You get, get it? Catchers? Caught? Yeah, you, you get it. Ah, anyway, this game caught my eye because it looks like an interesting little indie game with a cool art style. Like, it, it definitely uh, was a game that I saw. I was like, huh, this looks pretty interesting. Let's get into it. Um, it seems to have, like, a little bit of that uh, um, flyer game aspect to it. I don't know if you guys remember those Flash games where, you know, you, you play as a character or an airplane or whatever, and you, you upgrade the airplane to a point where it can float further and further and further along this path and everything. And this looks like it has a little bit of that going on with a story. So, um, I'm actually really interested to get in here and check this out. So, hey, why don't we jump in, shall we? All right, here we go. Uh, looks like we pick a slot. We're going to go with the middle slot. I like that frame. And it looks like they frame this child here, which I'm assuming is us, the main character. Let me turn down this volume just a little bit here. And someone's definitely snoozing behind a snowbank or something over here. Ah! Wow. Sound gets loud at times, doesn't it? Alright, so how are we controlling here? Click on the sign. So it's got this, like, really fun, whimsical, like, pixel art style to it here. Um, I actually really am a big fan of the way this game looks. I know that a lot of people are kind of... You know, they've said that they're sick of uh, the, the pixel art style, but it's something that hasn't really, you know, waned for me. I, I, I still enjoy it when it's done well. Uh, apparently, we got some kind of dog here sawing a log. Oh, man, those creepy yellow eyes. Who are you? What are you doing here, kid? Hi, funny bear. I just woke up and realized that I've never seen summer before, and that is sad. Where is it? Where can I find summer? To the south, far, far away. To the south, where the ocean is. Please help me, funny bear. But what can I do? I'm just a woodworker. And I am a wolf. Not a bear at all. A wolf in a sweater, no less. L look at that awesome sweater he's got. Nice duds. All right, all right. You've convinced me. I, too, can do things. So I guess he's going to help us build something here. Look at that awesome cart. That's a pretty sweet cart. I got to agree. Huh? Or I got to say. I should say. A car? This is your very own wooden huh? car. Are you suggesting that I... Now you can ride towards the ocean and find summer. But first, a quick test drive. All right. Let's see how this works. Oh, unexpected. says, hey, I have something for you. Look. Here are a bunch of different tools. Each of them works for particular types of obstacles. Take them. Okay. We, we, we shall do it here. Take the tools. All right. So what do we got here? We got... Well, I'm good at this. Okay. All right. Uh, so now we want to use this thing. Oh, and it'll jump over it. Okay. So I was actually misinformed as to... Uh, what exactly this was going to be. That's kind of cool. Alright, so we want to use the rocket to propel up the... Okay. That's pretty fun. So this car has all kinds of special abilities in it. Looks like we don't have the right tool for this. Try to find one. Use another tool to free up a space and see what happens. Uh, that one? Oh, I see. Okay. That's what I call perfect timing. Okay, so yeah, I thought this was going to be one of those airplane style games, but it turned, because I, I saw the menu on the side and everything like that, I thought it was going to be one of those things where the cart would only go so far, and then you got to keep upgrading it to go further, but it seems to have a different feel to it than that. Uh, but life is cruel. There will be no pauses, you know. Be ready for this and have fun. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we gotta do it real time. So what do we got now? 
summer catchers. Yippee. I thought I used the ability, but I, maybe I didn't. Ooh, that didn't work out, did it? That was a hit, I must say. I don't have any other items. Can't see anything but snow. Okay, so we definitely wiped. What a lesson. But I ran out of good stuff. I ran out of my abilities. How was I supposed to get through? Maybe that's part of the whole the whole shtick. Well, it seems like you're ready now. But I have no more tools. You could buy some more in my shop. Okay. So you could buy bumpers, jumpers. Booster. Okay, so th this has a little bit of that, like, upgrade type of style to it. Um, that's kind of cool, though. So you buy these different abilities. And the instead of upgrading your cart, you just buy the abilities to help you get through the area. Okay. That's kind of cool. Alright, we took that one out. So you just got to pay attention. We don't have one for that one. We don't have one for that one either. I don't know how many times the cart can actually take... Oh, jeez. That didn't work out. I forgot to jump. All right, we're going to try this again then. Uh, this force looks endless. I know the way out, but I need you to help me first. Here's the deal. Take a look at the bulletin board. Okay, and now you have objectives here. So we got to collect mushrooms, cure rare trees, cut dead trees, plant saplings. And circling one is basically which one you'll be on, I guess. Need to learn how to gather mushrooms. I already know how to do it. But have you ever done while riding in a car? No. That's the difference. Okay. What do we got here? Handicraft. Slide to open. Oh, okay. So there are upgrades. So I was right in the first place. This is a uh, quintessential, or not the quintessential, but is essentially a uh, an upgrade game. Okay, I'm glad I was not wrong because that's the impression I got from this game, and I would have been like kind of weirded out had that not been the case. <laughs> All right, we're gonna actually go back here. What do we got? Five. How many of these we got of each? Four, five. We'll buy one of each of these, and we're gonna we're gonna go back to riding here. Okay, so we're gonna collect a hundred mushrooms, turn that one in, and see what we can do here. So you just collect mushrooms as you go. You can see them in the snow there. Oh, okay, so we can't jump that because we don't have the right ability here. That's not a jump either. Wow, we are not doing great here, are we? Okay, we got one of each. Rock it up. Okay, that worked out. We used it at the right moment. All right, so we're ready for whatever happens here. There we go. Jump. Oh, we collected something. I don't know what that was. Another jump. Use that in the, the right moment right there. Jump. Alright, we're doing we're doing okay here. We're getting through. Oh no! Wrong ability. I don't know what those big shield things are, but I guess we'll find out shortly here. She drags it. I like that there is a story to this. She drags the thing back every time, it, it would seem. That's really silly. It's not a professional uh, professional mushroom gatherer. Well, at least almost. Mushroom rain. Okay. So we did that one. Cure rare trees. Cut dead trees. Plant saplings. All right. Man, we need to buy some more of these, right? Now, I do find it kind of odd that they decided to make it so that way your items, like, appear randomly out of your backpack as opposed to just give them to you when, you know, you need them or, or just lay out, like, the three different abilities that you... Actually, I guess, because there's going to be five abilities, 
It's just strange that they're not always out on screen at, at the time, you know? Uh, what is this? There is apparently... Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what that was exactly. Diary or something like that? All right, we're going to cure trees now, so let's go Let's go do this real quick. Let's cure some trees, man. Oh, we got to use that when we hit the tree. I see. Okay. Jump it. Jump that. I need a tree. Hey, we got one. Not to use it there. Oh, there's a bubble. Did you see that? Oh no! I didn't have my ability out. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It is hard having the right ability out when you need it. You need to buy like a ton of those things so you can just like rifle through them and, and get through the next area. Okay, let's see. Special trees in the forest. They are rare and very vulnerable. I have to watch over them to make sure they are safe from insects. Got it. What's so special about them, though? I'm sure that one of these days, you'll find out. Okay. Uh, we got five. Let's buy... Let's get up to six of each of these, I guess. Save enough for that next buggy. We're going to get that buggy. We cured two of the rare trees. We got three of these left. All right, let's repair that. Let's go get these trees taken care of here. Get our first set of obje objectives done here. Oh, that is no good. Get the tree. All right, we got one of each here. Nope, didn't have it for that. That one always seems to come up, doesn't it? Jump it. Oh, we don't have it for the tree, unfortunately. Oh, rock it up. There we go. Yeehaw! Oh, jump it. Oof. Nick of time right there. Rock it up. I should have jumped there, grabbed that thing. I still don't know what those things are. Some kind of shield or something. Can't cure the tree. I don't have the abilities not showing up for whatever reason. Oh, I don't have my rocket out. Rocket, there we go. And we collected enough mushrooms for the next buggy. Whoa! Call a tow truck. Alright, so we're gonna pop that one there. And we're gonna get our next buggy here. Let's buy that. There we go. Look at that. Look at that thing. That's that's a work of art right there. Okay, we got five, two. I can only afford one of these. We'll buy the rocket. All right, let's go out again. Let's test out this new buggy, shall we? All right, we got to cure the trees. That is our current objective. Did I not hit that one? Hit that. Come on, tree. Give me a tree. There we go. I'll take that. Oh, oh, that's no good. Unexpected. I think I ripped my pants. Yeah, I think I would have done more in my pants had that happened to me, to be quite honest. All right, we got to repair that. We're going to buy some more abilities here. Try to get back up to five on each of these. And let's see. We did have some new clothes that we can buy for the character here. So let's jump in. Okay, here we go. We got a rocket. Use one. That is not helpful there. That, oh, jeez.
Jump it. There we go. Oh, I don't have my thing. Oh, there it was right there. I could have finished the tree one. Okay, we got a jump and a rocket. <laughs> she really got some air on that one, though. That was pretty fun. Trying to get this last tree here. That's all we need. This last tree. Get this quest over with. Okay, we already got this selected. There it is. Got it. That worked out alright. Jumping through those is pretty fun. Yeah, we're done. It's not feeding me the items I need. That is a little bit annoying, I will say. Oh, but we got some special story thing going on here, which is kind of cool. Okay, we're actually controlling the character walk right now. Just clicking for her to keep moving on. I'm actually using the arrow keys now. Keep on walking. Easy way to catch this thing? Is that what we're trying to do here? Getting back to some snowbanks. Oh, wow. Look at this. The celestial deer or stag. Wow. Very impressive. You met a beautiful sparkling spirit. What will you do? Close your eyes and try to hide. Move closer and try to say hello. Let's say hello. Oh, it doesn't like that. Nope, it's gone. Seems like you scared him and he ran away. Man. Just wanted to say hello. Okay, so that's done. Great, the tre rare trees are now safe. I'm glad that I was able to save them. Let's see, what's next? We gotta cut the dead trees and plant some saplings. Okay. Lots of tree stuff we're doing here. I should have bought items, but whatever. I want to see what's going to happen with chopping down these trees here. Oh, I missed it. Ah, this is not a good run. <laughs> this is definitely not a good run. Okay. That did not go well. Didn't even get one tree. Let's buy some items and then see how we can do this. Yeah, I gotta say, the three item thing is a bit annoying. I don't know if there's gonna be an upgrade we can get um, that will change that, that will put more items on screen for us. That would be really nice if that was the case. I wonder if, like, maybe you buy new clothes and you put the clothes on, if that changes that. Don't know. Uh, but we definitely gotta buy... Some stuff here. Four, five, five. Okay, we're looking good. There are many dead trees in this forest. I use them for crafting. Uh, all the stuff you saw in my shop was made from them. So you want, uh, so you want me to help you chop them down? But how? Using a nice shiny axe, of course. You know that I'm just a little girl, right? It's easier than it sounds, and you are a smart girl. I have no doubts that you'll figure it out. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, I was hoping wearing some new clothes, or there's got to be something you can equip that lets you see more items at once or something. Oh, that was the wrong one. That was no good. There we go, we got one. Cool effects when they show that. Alright, did you see that shield thing that I grabbed there? I don't know what that is, but... I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Let's put these back up to five. We'll head out. Let's head out again. And away we go.
You can use the axe on those things. That's kind of nice. Wow, that was a terrible run. Uh, one of the other things I wish this game had, too, is like a quick restart on a run. You get a bad run. Give, give me a quick restart button where I can just jump right back into the fray of it, you know? Yeah, because that was a terrible run. I didn't, I didn't end up using anything. Okay, what do we got coming up here? Jump. Up, oh, jump too late. Not gonna be able to jump at all. Rocket, that's right, rocket up there. Oh, it's like a shield. I was wondering what that was. Jeez. Should have used the axe. Oh dear. All right, we are gonna we are gonna get through these last few quests here. If it kills us, I want to get through this this first tier. That's what I want to do. All right, what do we got coming up? Okay, we got one of each. That was not what I meant to hit. Jump. Nope, she bounced over it. Wow, so we're already one hit away, and I did not have an axe to use there. There we go. There's the second one. Jeez. You never want to burn the items up because you got to pay for every single one you buy, you know? Every single one you acquire, you got to pay something. So it's like every time we come back, we got to keep rebuying these. Making very... Very small steps of uh, progress here, you know? Just wish there was an easier way to use the items. Like, maybe assign them to a number on your keyboard or something? I don't know. So we can definitely see what's in here. Wow, we got back just in time. Everything is still running in the background. There we go, there's the third tree. Jump that. Jump that. Use that. Oh, didn't have an axe. Jump. Nice. Okay, we got an axe now. Tree? Give me a tree. Tree? Okay, we'll use that. How about a tree? There it is. Okay, one more to go. Jump this. Oh crap, I didn't have an axe. No axe. Do we have any more? Oh, we're out of axes. Okay. You only get so many axes per run, it would seem. I think you only get so many that you could use. I, I think next time we have a run, it'll probably we'll only have one in our inventory. I think. If I had to guess. All right, let's go in here and buy more. We got tons of money. I'm not super worried at the moment. So if we go into the backpack, yeah, we have one axe. So they give you just enough items for everything. That was not a good good move. It's also not a good move. Jump. Jeez. Terrible run. Another one I want a quick restart on. All right. Try this again, shall we? So it kind of sucks as there's only one axe. So I'm assuming it's it's random in how it picks items. Look at that. I got three jumps in a row here. I'm probably going to get a totem pole right off the bat, right? Okay, no. It was fair that time. Tree? Jump that. Is 
There we go, we got it. We got the fifth one. Okay, great. There's a rocket here, collect a bunch more mushrooms. And there we go. Okay, but we got a quest done. So now we gotta plant trees, I think is what it said. Plant saplings. Hey, I've seen you already. Okay, so we gotta follow this along again. Yeah, that might be my only complaint with this game so far, though. I really like the aesthetic of it. I like that it's like a light, fun game. Uh, I like that there's some story behind it. You know, I want to get out of winter to find summer type of thing. Yeah, I, I like that. It's cool. Um, but the, the item disbursement thing is like, just, I don't know, it's yeah, RNG type of thing, you know. It's uh, not something I'm the biggest fan of, but, you know, it's not a huge, huge issue. Just, it's a, it's a little annoying. All right, we're doing the opposite this time. We're closing our eyes and hiding from the celestial deer here. Uh -huh. Hello, hi. Are you shaking? Who are you? Don't be afraid, I do not bite. Here, take this. This is a gift. What do we get? Please something useful. You got a bell? You received the bell of saturation. Which means what? What does that do? Okay, we're gonna buy some stuff. What does the Bell of Saturation do? No, I'm trying to talk to the wolf. Okay, never mind. Plant some saplings. Uh, let's check our pack here. So you can ring the bell, I guess? Okay. Oh, there is a uh, uh, little post box, too. Greetings, the night forest. Okay. Oh, apparently you can make friends and stuff like that. Okay. That's interesting. All right, we got our saplings. And we've apparently unlocked a bunch of moments while we we're playing the game here. So that's kind of cool. That's fun. Uh, that means... Oh, yeah. So I guess maybe every set of quests has like... A bunch of pictures you can unlock, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's go plant these saplings. Let's let's get through our first tier of uh, quests here. I want to see what happens after the fact. Look at those amazing lights. Oh, that's no good. Jump. I didn't see anywhere where we were supposed to plant saplings. Apparently one did just did not come up, and we were not getting the items we needed for that run. We're fighting the RNG here. On these little runs here. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm just gonna get one of those out of my inventory for now, because chances are we're not gonna hit all five in one run anyway. I won't be too worried about it. Where do I plant the saplings? Oh my god. It's not giving me anything! Oh, that must be where... You gotta plant it right there. Okay. Interesting. We'll figure this out. We'll, we'll get this going. Alright, back on the road here, huh? It's pretty pumped up music, man. For planting saplings or whatever it else you wanted to. Okay, that didn't work out. Oop, sapling. Okay, that... No way, I missed it. Okay. So you gotta shoot those a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, now we're going by a ton of them. I don't have the actual saplings now. Now we're not gonna pass any, and now I have one. Use it. There we go, we got one. Okay, good. Jump it. 
So the other thing, too, um, that you may not be noticing because you're not playing the game is you can't overlap items. You can't you can't rocket propel yourself and then also jump. So while I'm rocketing, I'm trying to hit the jump button, but nothing happens, which is a tad annoying. If I want to waste my items, you should let me. Let me waste my items the way I want to. have any seeds for that. Okay. Oh, come on. We keep passing the seed things and we don't have any seeds up. Rock it up. Jump it. Either way. Either way is good. Give me one more seed thing here, huh? That was the wrong item. I clicked the wrong item. I had ton. I had the two items I needed for the ice bank, and I didn't use the right one. I clicked the sapling. Well, that was dumb. It ca this game kind of has that effect on your brain, though. You're kind of just like, I got to do a thing, and you're like, here, click, hurry, click something. And that's kind of how it, what it feels like. Alright, good jump. There we go. I have a jump there. There we go. Third one. Two to go. Jump it. Jump it. Oop, that did not work out. Sapling. Okay, one sapling to go. Oh, she just said it was just one down, one to go. Wait, was that an earthquake? Okay, so I'm not controlling anything right now, just so you guys know. The story's just sort of playing out right now, which is kind of cool. Play out, story. Play out. Oh my god, look at that big giant in the background. Oh my god. Big ol' eyes and everything. Spooky. Very spooky. Okay, so now we're just kind of back. Okay, interesting. But the story is definitely unfolding still, which is pretty cool. We did not get a sapling to use there. Jump! You can combine those items at the right time. So apparently you just can't jump. Do I have any more? I'm out of saplings, actually. I might as well just eat it right here. Collect a lot of mushrooms, though. I will say that. There we go. Okay. One more sapling to go. I remember I... Uh, I now remember that I, I used that last one accidentally on absolutely nothing, so... Let's go ahead. One, two, three. Five seems to be a pretty good number of these things to buy so far. I haven't really needed. Um, haven't haven't really needed to buy any more than that because we're not getting that 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 much further through it uh, just yet. You know. Just give me the last sapling. That's all we want. There we go. Okay, I got it in my inventory. Let's equip that thing. There it is. That's number five. So we finished the first tier quest. I'm feeling good. And at this point, we will just... Okay, that's the other thing. Now that I know it, you can actually equip those that little uh, thing on the front of your car. So you can put that on at any point to use up with your items. So that's good to know, actually. So really, you don't need to keep those in your inventory if you have them. Oh no, her head! She fell right in there. My life flashed in front of my eyes. Yeah, I imagine it would. Taking a crash like that. Alright, let's talk to the wolf. Thank you, you have helped me a great deal. Now listen carefully, I will tell you how to get out. 
Over there, you will find a few road signs. Follow them and you will be able to leave the forest. But I must warn you, there's a weird dude that lives in our forest. His name is Chachanya. I bet you have heard of him before. What you might not know is that he hates it when people try to leave the forest. Really? Well, we'll do what we can here. It, it would seem as though there's a bunch of other unlockables in the game, though, so I can't imagine that this is actually the end of the game. There's no way, right? All right, I guess we could try to follow the road signs. Let's see what happens here. Oh my god, look at that Yeti Bigfoot thing. Holy pines! You ain't kidding. What is... This? It's a great question. A question for the ages, really. Alright, we're gonna equip one of those. Alright, so we don't want this thing to catch us, I'm assuming. I don't see any road signs either, though. Run! Boost! Ooh, I did not do the right thing there. What's up, short hands? Oh, boost! Okay, there's some road signs. Keep on boosting. I hate that, too, that the cart bounces so much that when you go to use a jump, sometimes the jump just doesn't work out. You, you hit it on an off bounce. I should have grabbed that bubble. Okay, I don't have any more boosts. So we're gonna pretty much just keep traveling here until he either gets us or what. We're 400 away, so we're getting pretty close. So we're gonna need a few more items to actually get through to the end here. I think we're gonna have to do one more run. Because we are completely out of items. I think one more hit, I'm done. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. There it is. All right, so there's basically, I guess you could think of them as boss battles here, right? That's what it would seem to me. All right, we're going back in. We're going to buy 10, 12 bumpers. How about that? We'll do the same with the jumper. The rocket booster, I'm going to buy a bit more. Maybe 20. You know, I'm just going to get a few more of these, too, because why not? We're going to give this another shot. See if we can get past this weird Yeti thing. Um, it would be nice, too, if the game actually kept a, um, you know, like a tally of how many hits your cart can take. Like, keep a three up there somewhere. Uh, that basically just, like, lets you know, like, hey, you got, you know, one more hit to go. And you're done. Jump! He got me on the bounce again. Already took a hit. See, it's weird. Sometimes the game will let you use a separate ability at the same time as another ability, but sometimes it won't. It's weird. It just sort of arbitrarily decides when it wants to do that. We're boosting. I should have jumped and grabbed that bubble. All right, we're gonna get past this, guys. We're gonna we're gonna beat this guy. We we're very close the first time. We got to the 400 mark. All right, we gotta buy a few more of these. I think actually the number we had was probably pretty good. Let's just give it another shot. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. <laughs> Stop chasing me. It's a nice request. That dumb bounce. Every time it's that bounce. It will not let me jump the uh, the spikes. It doesn't give you enough warning to jump the spikes. And I'm already two hits in. So this is this is, in my opinion, this is where the game gets a little bit frustrating, because it's like you gotta it it's it's very RNG. It's very random. You're you're hoping the items come up when you need them. You're hoping that the, the random things that pop up in your way won't pop won't pop up when they do. 
Um, and that it, it feels more like chance as opposed to skill at, at times with this, which maybe that's what this game is going for. Um, but it definitely doesn't feel like you're upgrading your cart to the point where like you are, you know, defeating the Yeti. It feels like it's it's like a chance thing to me at least. All right. Should've jumped, didn't think about it, didn't see it. Oh, that's cool, okay. We got a, a bubble. Lost her bubble. Oh, should've jumped there for that bubble. Should've grabbed that one. Nope, we're off, okay. I'm able to get down to the 700 part, no problem. Only got below the 400 the one time. Okay, we're just gonna keep going at this route here. Also, um, I want to hit the menu here real quick. I want to check out the options. Let's see, we got gameplay. There's a difficulty setting too, if we need it. I, I want to see what the controls are. Grab the device you want to play with. We're gonna use the keyboard. Controls keyboard, but it doesn't really tell you what controls do what. I wanted to see if there was like another way to do the things we're doing, but that's okay. I'm pretty much just using the mouse and the arrow keys every now and then, so... Okay, boost it. Let it be rain. Oh, there we go. We got the jump that time. We gotta use another one, though. Oh, I should have jumped there for that. There we go. We were able to time the, the bounce there pretty well. Get that in there. Okay, we jumped that. Oh, we just missed that bubble. Don't have the jump. There we go, we got a bubble. Okay, we're getting better here. Jump. Don't run into anything. I need my, my barrier. There it is. 200 away. Oh, crap. Come on. 200 away. I was that close. Ugh. Man. I was having a huge stroke of luck on that one there. Okay, we're going to give this maybe a couple more tries here, and we'll see what happens. But after that one, man, that was just... <laughs> that was a heart-wrenching run. I got below 200. I was getting super close, and then, ugh. Why not give the player the ability to buy and start out with a, a shield or something like that? That would be a cool idea. Okay, we got the jump. Pop another one of those on. Up we go. Oh, I missed it. How did I miss it? Oh. Again, not not hitting the jump when I need to hit it. Boost. There we go. Now we got it. Just gonna keep using it here. Up we go. Keep on boosting. There we go. We got our jump. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to catch up again here.
Okay, we're doing okay here. Oh, I think we made it. How weird is that? We we struggle for all of those turns, and then all of a sudden, we get through unscathed. I don't think we got hit even once in that run right there. How ridiculous is that? Oh, look, the mighty mountains. So weird how that works out, though, in games sometimes. Oh, man, what is running ahead of us there? A little gopher or something? Sorry, ancient log dudes. Oh, jeez. That tree is going to hit us right in the head. I don't even know. How you, yeah, that's probably a rocket you got to use there, I bet. I think that when you get 301 button, too, they should have a button that lets you erase an item. Like, right mouse button lets you, like, throw throw one out, maybe. Oh, we landed in the ice water, so that is no good. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming we... Yeah, okay, so we are now at a different lodge now. And uh, it looks like we're going to have a, a whole other set of quests, probably, to go through in a different area, so... Uh, well, hello there. Looks like we're talking to a crow now. Greetings to you as well, Scary Black Crow. Oh, so you're afraid of me? That's good. Yes, you look so angry. <laughs> Has anything happened to you, Scary Black Crow? Yes, you. Never mind, where are you going? I am following my dream. I'm heading towards the ocean to see summer. Yes, I too can't stand this stupid forest. Um, I could show you the way and even join you on your journey. But first, I must finish a few things here. Would you mind helping me? Sure. How can I help you, Scary Black Crow? All, uh, all that I need to do is listed on this board. Let's see. So now we're collecting ash berries, uh, wake up sleepers, break snowmen, bear, ba bay hares. Okay. Um, so, yep, yeah, it's just like the other one where you're doing some more quests and everything in a different area and they add more obstacles and stuff to do. So th this game I'm a little torn on. I think it's pretty cool. I like the art style. I, li I like the story stuff behind it and everything. I like that they took the idea of like one of these, you know, runner games and that has items and, and upgrades and stuff like that and applied a story to it. I think that's really creative. Uh, but the, the RNG, you know, the random number generator stuff is really what's kind of killing me on this. Uh, would love the ability to actually control my items whenever I feel, you know, uh, I, I feel like that would be a better option, at least for me. But other than that, it seems like a pretty cool little game. So uh, this looks like something that might interest you. Hey, check it out. That's what that's what I would say. Uh, guys, want to remind you, please don't forget to subscribe to us here uh, on YouTube uh, at Video Chums because we come out with Let's Plays like this and we come out with gameplay videos all the time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash watch GGRC because I come out with all kinds of other types of game videos like, you know, uh, vlogs and reviews and that kind of thing. So definitely follow both channels and guys, chums, I'll see you all next time.